G'day Box and Burners, we're missing you all at the club. Um, I was lucky enough to do some training with Helen on my front lawn last week and I actually got my dad involved as well. It was a lot of fun, I was holding for both of them, we were moving around, I was teaching my dad some technique and Helen was doing some killer rounds on the target. So what I want to say for any Box and Burners that are training at home, please incorporate your partner, your friend, your mum, your dad, whoever you can to get them involved with your training because the reality is this, with, when it's a boxing class, a boxing program, if you don't have a holder on those targets, then you're just not gonna get the same workout. That being said, we're gonna film, the first part of today's class is on technique. So just like I did in the first video, I'm gonna show you some technique to start with, so you can break that down, whether it's in front of a mirror, or you and your training buddy can work it out together, and then we're gonna do some holding drills for you to try and get back to some regular box and burn classes, which we know that you love. So here we go. First uh, bit of technique we're gonna work on is just making sure you can move without crossing your feet over. So you'll notice when I'm moving to my right, I move my right foot first and my left foot drags. Okay, this is really, really important. In a good boxing stance, you don't wanna cross your left foot over your right, and you also don't wanna be making big movements. So when I'm moving to my right, it's a small movement with my right foot, my left foot catches up. When I move to my left, it's a small movement with my left foot and the right foot catches up. When I move forward, my front foot moves first and my back foot catches up. And when I move backwards, it's my back foot that moves first and my front foot catches up. Now, for the next few minutes, what I want you to do is move round forwards and backwards and side to side and try and get yourself to a point where you're getting sweaty and exhausted just by moving the legs around. Now, when I'm doing this, my legs are always bent and I'm really focused on pushing and driving through my stances. I'm not walking through it, okay? I wanna have my heels up off the ground and as I'm moving, I'm focusing on my breathing, I'm trying to get my cardio up. Why don't we try a two minute round and then we'll get back into some striking. See you in the next video. Okay team, so now that your footwork sorted out, what we wanna do now is we wanna look at joining your left leg and your left hand together. So for this two minute round, you're gonna circle around using the footwork you did at the start, and we're gonna try and time your left jab with one step and one jab, or you can do two steps and two jabs, or you can do three steps with three jabs. Now it looks fairly simple, but the way you set your feet up determines how you can get that timing to work. If I've got my weight on my back foot, the back foot's not going to come with. So I'm transferring weight forward to back, and as I go to step in, one, two, three, I transfer forward back, forward back, forward back. A good jab has a lot of pull on it. What I mean by that is I push, but just as important is I pull on the punch. When I'm doing multiples, it's the pull that makes this happen. So I'm going to do a triple slowly for you. One, two, three, and bring it back, and now we're gonna chamber up again, and get good power in all three shots. Give it a go, guys, I want you to circle round, single jabs, double jabs, and triple jabs, two minute round, come on back, we'll do the next one. Okay team, so for this exercise, I've brought Jimmy into the picture, I'm gonna be holding for him, so hopefully you've got your training partner at home, if not, you can be doing the same rounds on your boxing bag or even in the air with your hand weights, but I'm gonna show you with Jimmy so you get the idea. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat these rounds six times over. So if I get Jimmy to throw uppercuts, then hooks and then straights, we'll go around, uppercuts nice and fast, hook punches, then straights, then back up and again, Jimmy, and hook punches, and straights, swing that. So if we were to do that for a minute, and then Jimmy would take over, he would be holding for me and I would do a minute. We're gonna go back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. So we get three rounds of one minute each. If you don't have a training partner or a person holding for you, then you might do a minute with your hand weights or on your punching bag, and then you give yourself a 30 second break in between, and I want you to try four and even up to five rounds like that. We'll see you in the next video. Okay team, so for the next exercise, we're doing boxing combinations one through four. One is a jab, two is a jab, cross. Three is a jab cross followed by a left hook, and four is a jab cross, left hook followed by a right cross again. So if you're lucky enough to have your holder, it'll be the holder calling the numbers. We want to stick to a one minute up to a one minute 30 round, and then you'll swap. 
If you don't have a partner and you're using your training bag or you're doing air boxing or shadow boxing, then you just set the timer and give yourself a 30 second rest in between. So Jimmy and I will demonstrate. We're going to circle around. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Moving around again. One, one, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember guys, it's the holder's job to increase the intensity of the workout. You can thrash your partner in a minute, or you can both cruise. If I'm pushing hard, then Jim will push me hard in my round. Again, three sets each, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey team, for the next workout, we're gonna get Jim to drop down on one there. We do fast punches with the knee down low, and then we're both gonna change together. And then between sets, we're gonna be throwing some push-ups in there as well. So we'll do the first rotation, you guys will get the gist. So here we go, Jim. We're going to do flat out punches, we'll do uh, 20 to go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 3. So, done. so what we're going to do is five sets like that. So it's 20 and 20, 10 push ups, 20, 20, 10 push ups. Five times through, and then you swap it over to your partner's turn. Good luck with this one, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, team, so we're going to hit a set of 21s right now. For those who don't know what 21s are, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration. And for the more advanced people in the room, you're going to do 28s. So here's a 21 for you. I'm going to start with seven low push-ups where I drop down and my elbows stay bent. So I'm never pushing all the way up. They're always bent. Once I've done seven, I push all the way up. Now I'm going to drop down halfway and come back up to straight again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. On my last set of seven, I do a full movement all the way down, all the way up for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there's my 21. Now you guys know we usually do three sets. For your home training, I want you to do five sets of 21 with about a 30 second rest in between. For the advanced people, I want you to do your 28, which means you start with seven full push-ups, then you do seven at the lower half, seven at the top half, and then you finish with seven full ones again. And for seniors doing 28, you want to do three sets with a 30 second break in between. Remember with this exercise, guys, you should be pushing to failure, which means you won't be able to complete the exercise. If you do complete all sets, then throw one or two more in there until you push, until you can't push anymore. We'll see you in the next video. Okay, Boxing Burners, thank you very much for joining us today on the online training. We really do appreciate your, your support and feedback. Danny, thank you very much for the workouts that you're sending through. It's giving us lots of inspiration for future classes. Can I just also mention, guys, if you are doing your training at home, please take photographs or upload videos of what you're doing and what you're liking about the program so we can share that to the JMA community and let people know that we're still here. We really appreciate your support. We'll see you in the next one.